This is Hannibal here from the Hannibal TV.com. Just came back from my final workout before we go back into lockdown here tomorrow as Piper comes up to say hi. By the way, Piper's official godmother is Teal Piper, Roddy Piper's daughter, which is cool as far as I'm concerned. Hope to see her in Great North Wrestling in the future. Everyone got a surprise tonight on SmackDown. Gay, pornographic, former uh, performer Lars Sullivan has made his return to WWE television. He's been off TV since June 2000. 19 very controversial character because before it came out that he was a gay porn star he had actually made anti-gay comments and from my understanding he had to pay a fine as well as undergo therapy for those comments prior to that he missed some shows due to mental health issues, and he seems to be very injury prone. But for some reason, maybe it's because Pat Patterson still has, has a hand in the booking. I don't know. But uh, they have brought Lars Sullivan back. He doesn't have to go back to porn just yet. He's going to get another shot on WWE TV because he came in and he laid out Jeff Hardy and Matt Riddle. And also in the news today for Matt Riddle, Samantha Tevel, sorry I'm mispronouncing that, she did file a lawsuit against WWE, Matt Riddle and NXT producer Gabe Sapolsky, as well as Evolve, which is now out of business for millions of dollars, I think $40 million, and is claiming that Matt sexually assaulted her and these other people involved in the case are connected. Uh, I guess there's been an email that's come out from Drake Wartz or something who is involved with booking extras for WWE and he sent this girl who's a claim who's claiming uh, sexual assault by Matt Riddle this guy from WWE travel said she was off events due to some past issues he wasn't previously aware of with her and one of the talent that would make it for not an ideal work environment. So one of her claims is this situation with Matt Riddle has resulted in her not getting jobs. So she has provided some evidence, basically saying she was off the show due to a, an issue with uh, another wrestler, another talent that would make it not an ideal work environment which makes me wonder, back in 2016, I had an NXT tryout canceled on me after WWE had talked to me for seven months, and I was never given a reason why they canceled it. And when I asked Gerald Briscoe, who had set me up with that, the reason they told him was they already had information on me. But I wonder if it was a guy like Kevin Owens complaining that he didn't like me or whatever, making shit up that, that got my opportunity canceled because we obviously see from this girl's email from the travel department that if a current talent doesn't like somebody getting an, an opportunity, they can get it kiboshed. Uh, Showtime, the Raptor. Finds the whole Lars Sullivan thing funny. Music biz, uh, yes. Just look it up. Uh, it's unfortunately true. 
unfortunately true. And uh, John Smith says, Lars likes the microphone tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Live here on the Hannibal TV. I am doing an interview with the masterpiece himself, Chris Masters, who, by the way, there is a Chris Masters versus Karrion Cross interview uh, match on this channel, one of Karrion Cross's last matches before WWE. It's from PCW Ultra. It's posted on this channel. It's a very good match. And by the way, Karrion Cross is a great talent. As bad as the Lars Sullivans of the world are, I'm not anti all WWE talent. I think very highly of Karrion Cross. But Chris Masters is coming on tomorrow to do an interview with me and talk about his NWA United Wrestling Network pay per view debut this coming Tuesday. You can buy those pay per views through my link in the description or the NWA link at thehannibaltv.com. And if you use that, you will be giving me a small percentage. So every little bit helps. Underdog says that's going to be a good interview. Dion, what's the point of the draft? The only reason they do drafts is to try and get ratings because they're constantly mixing the people from all the brands they obviously have. Um, John, John Fiction says, Derek, looking like a young Steve Lombardi from the screenshot. It's true. And again, this is a reminder here. I do have a second channel, Devin Nicholson. That's just my full interviews for the people that don't want the, the news updates. And I do post some custom content on there, but yeah, Lars Sullivan, good luck to you. Actually, I'll say one last thing about Lars Sullivan. They picked a good time to bring him back because there's no live crowds yet for SmackDown. They pipe in the fake sounds so he won't have to deal with the crowd uh, bringing up the, uh, the other uh, acting jobs he's known for other than wrestling because they control who's on the screen and they control the fake crowd noise. Have a great weekend, everyone. And if you're in Ontario... It sucks for us, doesn't it? It sucks for us because supposedly there's 900 or so new cases of COVID, not 900 hospitalizations, not 900 deaths, just 900 new cases that we know most people overcome. But but let's lock down the whole province. Let's close the gyms. Let's fuck with people's businesses, fuck with people's lives. I really want to move. I'm very happy that this channel is popular in the States. I would like to get the fuck out of Canada. I fucking hate the weather here and the politics. <laughs> <laughs>